Thank you, Kate. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the citizenship ceremony at Sunnybank RXL, hosted by War Arts and Multiculture. Mr. Graham Perrett, MP, the presiding officer and federal member for Morton. Ms. Kerry Linegar, finance manager, Department of Immigration and Citizenship, and her partner Doug Swanson. Mr. Mark Stewart, MP, State Member for Sunnybank. Mark. Mrs. Freya Ostapovich, State Member for Stretton. Stephen Huang, Councillor for McGregor Ward. Kim Marks, Councillor for Karawaka Ward. Vision to become an Australian citizen is an important one and marks the final stage of your migrant journey. You join more than 4 million other migrants from over 200 countries that have chosen to make Australia their home. Australian citizenship symbolises our unity as a symbolic and substantive commitment you must make to become an Australian citizen. It is a statement that outlines what the Australian community asks of all citizens and in turn the privileges that, it is, that are bestowed on citizens by the community. We welcome you and the talents diversity and vitality that you bring to Australia. Congratulations on becoming an Australian citizen. I wish you and your family the best for the years to come. Hey, next, I would like to invite Melody Cheng, the President of War Arts and Multiculture, also the host for the ceremony, to give her a speech. <coughs> Melody Cheng, please. Ladies and gentlemen, today, Marcus are a milestone for T1 new candidates becoming Australian citizens. Congratulations. It doesn't not matter where you are origin is, what language you speak. In a few minutes time, you will be an Australian citizen. It, it is a Honor and a privilege for world art and multicultural cooperation to have the opportunity to host the Australian citizenship ceremony. Today, with the guidance of Louis D. OAM, we look forward to hosting more in the future. Once again, congratulations to the candidates who will be the new Australian citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you, Melody. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Mark Stewart, MP, to deliver his speech. Mark, please. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd first like to acknowledge uh, Melody Chen, the President of World Arts and Multiculture, right at the start of Queensland Week. And Queensland uh, week is very important as it symbolises the splitting of Queensland and New South Wales many years ago. We are also sharing this week with the Diamond Jubilee of the Queen, celebrating 60 years in service. But the reason that we're here today is to celebrate 61 uh, new Australian citizens from 27 countries. And to those 61 candidates, I congratulate you on your decision and I'm happy that you are joining our Australian family. The Queensland Government is committed to a multicultural community and it is one of the great things about being Australia is that you don't need to give up your rights. The rights uh, the, of the religion that you've practised, the food that you enjoy, the dress that you wear and the customs that you have grown up with. Thank you. This ceremony reminds me that I too am an immigrant. My family came from to Brisbane by ship from the Netherlands when I was just a toddler. My mother would always say to me um, that this was the land of opportunity and she would say that in Holland you wouldn't even dream of owning a car let alone a house. So um, after a year of uh, living in the Wacol immigration camp which resembled half of a water tank uh, we went to Sydney. And my parents worked very hard and learned to speak English and they prospered. And uh, you too can prosper because Australia still has a bounty of opportunities. They say it only takes a little spark to get a fire going. 
Don't wait for others to start the fire. There's nothing wrong with creating the first spark of interest and everyone's story is interesting. Do keep your stories and your culture in your heart, but make sure that you embrace all the Australians have to offer as well. I wish you all the very best in your new life here in Australia. Thank you. Stephen Huang, please. I would like to welcome all of you to the big family of Australian society. From today, you will enjoy the full membership of Australian family. And that includes right to be elected, uh, to elect and being elected as elected uh, representatives. And uh, today, we have uh, elected representatives, includes Councillor Mark and I, and also a uh, member for Stratton, that without a citizenship uh, ceremony or citizenship right like this, we would never have the opportunity to be an elected representative. And I'd like to encourage all of you to take this opportunity to participate fully in our society and exercise your right as a full Australian. Congratulations once again. I would like to hand over to the presiding officer for today, Mr. Graham Parrott, federal member for Morton. Mr. Graham Parrott, please. Thank you, Lewis. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners and thank them for their continuing stewardship as well. An auspicious day tomorrow because it will be 20 years since the uh, Mabo decision. So 20 years ago today, the High Court judges uh, were, had already written their judgment and were about to hand down a decision that was going to change the future of Australia. So an important day in which to become an Australian citizen. Uh, I won't go through the long list of people to acknowledge. Uh, I, will, I will point out that I'm the last politician you have to hear from before you become an Australian. Okay, after that you can ignore us, except on election day. Okay, but I, I do echo what Stephen said. I would encourage you to become involved. However, uh, I'm the last one you have to listen to today as a politician. Uh, obviously, I'd like to, to thank the World Arts and Multicultural for organising such a wonderful day. I think we should give a special round of applause to that wonderful version of our uh, waltzing Matilda to, to start us. That was uh, fantastic. The Australian citizenship represents full and formal membership of the community of the Commonwealth of Australia. And Australian citizenship is a common bond involving reciprocal rights and obligations uniting all Australians while respecting their diversity. Persons on whom Australian citizenship is conferred enjoy these rights and undertake to accept these obligations. And it's important that I read these out because uh, Kerry from the Department of Immigration and Citizenship is watching to make sure that I do this on behalf of the Minister. Uh, because this is actually a formal part since 1949 of becoming an Australian citizen. Unless you're born here, of course. So, you must pledge loyalty to Australia and its people. Two, you must share our de de Australia's democratic beliefs. You must respect Australia's rights and liberties and you must uphold and obey the laws of Australia. Now it is time to make your pledge of commitment. Okay, this will be conducted in two parts, uh, depending on whether you want to make pledge number one or pledge number two, which you have with you. The date who has made the pledge is called forward individually to receive their Australian citizenship certificate from Mr. Graham Parrott, MP.
Mr. Raku Nan Alam Nukanda. Ms. Chiao Mei Cheng. Mr. Nai Chao Chen. Mrs. Su Ho Chao. Mr. Harshal Dima. Mrs. Penangini Bahen Dima. Kuro Dima. Rule number one. Rule number two. As I said, tomorrow is the anniversary of Mabo. So it's a, it's a more obscure thing to do, but I would ask you to find an Aboriginal word for the Aboriginal area you live in. If it's the south side of Brisbane, the, the Terrible or the Jerrigan people, find a word that you can use to impress your friends back home. It could be the word for beer. It could be the word for food or friend or whatever, but an Aboriginal word that you can use. Number three, and Freya touched on this in her speech, Talk to your neighbours, share a meal with them, and join a community group, as Mark touched on. That's a to rise and welcome all of the new Australian citizens and to congratulate you on becoming Australian citizens. Good luck. As an Australian citizen. As an Australian citizen. I affirm my loyalty to Australia and its people. I affirm my loyalty to Australia and its people. Whose democratic belief I share. Whose democratic beliefs I share. Whose rights and liberties I respect. Whose rights and liberties I respect. And whose law I uphold and obey. And whose laws I uphold and obey. Thank you. Well, Being child to the stage to lead the singing of the national anthem. Please stay. to our official party. Mr. Graham Parrott first. Mr. Melody Chen, please. The presiding officer, also the federal member for Morton. 
Perry Lidinga. She is the Finance Manager of the Department of Immigration and Citizen. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Councillor Stephen Huang, who is <laughs> Can I invite Councillor Kim Max, Councillor for Colour Water Ward? <laughs> the Secretary of War Arts and Multiculture to offer a vote of thanks. Eddie, please. This opportunity to offer a vote of thanks to each and every one of you. Uh, special thanks to uh, Louis Lee OAM, uh, the Citizenship Chair, for his leadership and guidance. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Graham Parrott MP as the presiding officer uh, and thank his staff uh, for the assistance in the preparation of this uh, ceremony. Uh, thanks to uh, Sunnybank RSL for providing the venue and also special thanks uh, to Melody Chen and uh, members of War Arts and Multicultural Incorporation for hosting the citizenship ceremony. Thanks to our elected uh, representatives and uh, other VIPs and distinguished guests uh, for, attending, uh, uh, for the attendance. The native plans uh, were uh, arranged by the Office of uh, Councillor Stephen Wang uh, thanks, Councillor Stephen Huang and his staff. The ceremony come to the end, but before we have the light refreshment, we would like to take a group photo. So we would like to invite all candidates to take photo together with our official party. I will hand over to the photographer, Leone, to arrange that. Leone, please. Thank you very much for your attendance today. Thank you, official party, for attending. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Fantasy, yeah.